Hello everybody, and today I'm doing Sambuca for commentaries because, I don't know, I find reacting to his videos fun. But, uh, yeah, the last few didn't get many views, per usual, but maybe that's because a lot of people don't get notified towards videos like this. Since I feel it's kind of different when reacting to Sambuca videos. But, uh, you know the drill, we're gonna pick a few random videos of his and then... We'll just, uh, like, if it's, like, an either-or question, or if we agree, you, you get the point. So let's get started. Should these fictional products exist? Let's see what he has to say. No. This would be a pervert's dream product, just, like, hide out in stalls and playgrounds. It's a shame, though, because this would actually be really fun to have otherwise. Yeah, it would be fun. Do I think a visible cloak should exist? Uh, I think yes, because, I don't know, it just seems fun. Like, you can just pull pranks on people and if you want to stay hidden from someone or if you want to sneak in somewhere i don't know maybe it's a bad idea because people can just use it to like i don't know be weird like like he said or uh um i don't know sneak into stores and steal stuff so yeah it probably is a bad idea harry godparents no Yeah, very godparents. If every kid had one, then we'd probably all be dead because they can just wish the the wor craziest things on us people. But yeah, and when I, it depends if the fairy is willing to do the wish, even if it's bad. But they ha it's their job to grant every wish. Portal guns. Who? I think the repercussions of this are massive, like ruining timelines and stuff. The issue with all of these is bringing it to the mass market. Like, I'd like it, but everyone else can't be trusted. I think I'd like a portal gun, too. We can go to various dimensions and see what other worlds are out there. If there are ones, it'd be very fun. So, yes. The amount of gaslighting people would abuse would be crazy. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Mm, I never watched Men in Black with Will Smith. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what the device does, so no comment. And so now. Lightsaber. Oh, yeah, definitely. Lightsabers technically exist since there's toys in them. You can make one at Galaxy's Edge if you have $200. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, I would totally want a lightsaber because lightsabers are awesome. And, yeah, but I don't know. They could be dangerous, too. You can cut through walls. Accidentally, you don't want to accidentally stab someone. <laughs> Magic wands, sure. I mean, the wands in Harry Potter are awesome. Wands would be fun for like friendly playground duels, but we'd have to implement like some sort of safety features to avoid all the OP spells. And then, so everybody's basically Dio. We'd be frozen every second. We'd be living. Probably not, because like, what's the point of stopping time? Like, it'd just be boring and annoying because you have to walk through everything being frozen. Okay, so that was that video, so let's find another video. Do you prefer it with or without? Okay, without. this would be fun. Uh, popcorn. Uh, do I prefer butter or without? Honestly, it depends. I don't know. I have quite a history with uh, butter on popcorn. So when I saw the Batman movie with my friend, I had popcorn with butter. And then... It was super greasy, and then I went to a, a restaurant with uh, the, the drama club group I'm in, and uh, I ate a big burrito, and then the next day, I was not feeling good at all. <laughs> I, all that junk just in your system, ugh. So I guess without butter, because it's just, I don't know, the butter tastes good, but like it's also not very good for you. <laughs> butter on popcorn is doing too much. Butter yeah, I agree with that. To give you isn't even real butter, it's like motor oil. Mm-hmm. Water, ooh, without ice or with ice. I don't really drink water with ice, but if I do, it tastes so good. Cold water tastes amazing, if you know what I mean. If you keep water in the fridge, it will taste super sweet, good, when you drink that water. Like, I, that kind of water, just, it does you good. I prefer without ice, but still cold. So, like, a nice chilled water out of the refrigerator, I think that hits best. Sleeping with clothes or without clothes? Uh, I sleep with my clothes on, because I don't know, I just don't feel comfortable 
sleeping naked. Like, I just view that as weird. I mean, if you do it, I'm not going to judge you. It's just like, I don't know, I'm just not in sleeping without clothes. I prefer to have my clothes on. I mean, why do extra laundry? I'm a fan of the naked sleep. Usually I have short Yeah, I mean, laundry is annoying. It's on, though, but sometimes I'll raw dog it. Driving, with music or without? Uh... I prefer music because, I don't know, it's just, you can listen to something on the ride whenever you're, someone's driving you or not. I don't listen to music while I drive. I usually take, like, phone calls or just talk to myself. Mm. Eating with phone or without? Oh, I'm always eating with my phone with me. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't eat at the dinner table. I just sit and I'm downstairs where I live. At this point in my life, I need a phone in front of me if I'm eating alone. I don't know what it is. I'm like an iPad kid. Gym. I don't go to the gym, but if I did, I would go with a buddy. If not, I'd probably just do it without. It's either or. It, it depends. I think the gym is better with a buddy. It keeps you honest and makes it more fun. Though the occasional solo lift, I still enjoy. Waking up with an alarm about. So I have an alarm on my phone. I don't really need it, but like I have it anyway. But uh, yeah, with alarm. If you can wake up naturally, that's obviously the best. But it's hard when you have like responsibilities. Alarm yeah, true. That is true. When you have responsibilities, you gotta have an alarm just so you know when to get up. Teens, just can't interrupt your REM cycles. Phone, with case or without case? Uh, I, I have a case, so, because I'm very protected over if my phone gets damaged or not. I have a crazy story. Like, when I had a phone, my first phone, it got damaged during COVID, quarantine, lockdown, and the entire top got ripped off, and it was just damaged and then eventually i got a new phone like a year later yeah it was good and, and then that phone didn't really last because my dad didn't really want me having it because it was just so old looking and so i got this new phone iphone 13 so yeah that's my phone history okay so that video is good uh No. Should these punishments be allowed in school? Okay, this should be interesting. Okay, let's give our opinion on this. Extra homework. Uh, uh, I've had this punishment before in school. It was all the way back in fourth grade. We a class was messing around, and the teacher got mad, and he gave us extra homework when we were trying to study for a test or whatever. Yeah, I, I think extra homework is fair. I mean. If you the class ain't acting right or being respectful, and I think it's fair. I think this is fine. It's pretty productive for a kid to do homework, and it's not that physically taxing. I hate homework because I don't know. It's just it's just stressful, and I don't know. I just want to get it done. I don't know. I feel like I just want to do other things and just do homework. Sit on the couch and just do homework all day. I think it just feels like you're wasting your time. Spanking? No, I do not condone physical abuse or whatever, or whatever you want to call it. And look at that photo, it's so old fashioned. Yeah. Although I'm sure this still happens pretty regularly. Oh man, those viral videos where teachers get pissed at their student and then they go crazy mode. Like, those are crazy videos. It's just such a strange thought to physically discipline somebody else's child. Yeah, it is weird. Detention, ugh. I don't get detention. I've never gotten to detention before, but I almost did. But, like, detention just feels pointless. It's just, like, study hall, but, like, you're just there. It's like you can't force power over us to go over there just because you thought we did something bad. Or, I, I don't know. It's like, if it's if it's illegal, then that's different. But, like, I don't know. It's just detention feels pointless. Like, you're not, you're just, it's just study hall. Yeah, true. It does. I agree with that. It's not mandatory, but it kind of is, because then you risk suspension. It's a lot of power, so no. It just sucks when people have power over you. That's just a life thing, I guess, but, like, I don't know. Taking cell phones. Okay, so I have a big thing. My school was big on cell phones. If you got caught with your phone in the hallway, bathroom, study hall, you got two detentions. That's how my school was. They are super strict. And even 
I don't I don't want to call out my principal, but like he would get so mad if you if you uh had your phone. He once yelled at a few kids in art in art class I was in. Like it was crazy. I was in it I wasn't there but like it, yeah, that that's how strict people are about phones for whatever reason. I don't know why. They even ask you if you have it, even if it looks like you're on your phone, but you're really not. Like it, it's crazy how schools are strict about phones. Yeah, so yeah, keep your phone in your book bag and then grab it when you're leaving school. <laughs> like just 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 don't have it in school <laughs> during class. Like yeah, just don't risk getting in trouble. Definitely not. This is stealing property. Technically, yeah, I agree. If it's like, "Oh, but you did something bad." So you're on your phone. You uh you got to take your phone away. I'm like I'm like, "Okay, but it's our property. You can't just take our rights away from it like you you people are some adults are too strict in my opinion I don't know if they still do this anymore though community service ugh if it's like a crime that's different but like but like you can't force community service onto us but some kids do community service for like just so they can get on NHS and like I got a long story about NHS it's just it's just for the good people they view as the smart people it's a long rant i have but a community service i mean if you're willing to do it i don't think it should be a punishment unless it's like a crime and maybe that's fair i don't know the labor ain't really good for people in my opinion how bad your offense was i mean it's good to teach kids community service but it's like wake up yeah it is good it's just like i don't know i just feel if it's if you didn't do anything, like, bad, I don't know. If it's, like, illegal, I feel like that would be a different story, like I said, but I don't know. If you people think community service is good, you can tell me if you watch this video. On a weekend, picking up garbage for, like, five hours? Yeah, five hours, it sucks. It is labor. This actually should be illegal. Yeah, it should be. Okay, long story. I once asked to go to the bathroom to a substitute teacher, and she straight up said no. This was years ago, but, like... You shouldn't tell us no and have our limits to when to go to the bathroom. Like, if you have to go, you have to go. Like, you even get yelled at if you uh, stay in too long. I feel like that could be different, but, like, but like we shouldn't be... F our teachers shouldn't force their power onto us just to tell us when to go to the bathroom when we are not allowed to go to the bathroom. Like, if you just, you just, just, just go. I mean, even if you're in the bathroom, just, just go and get out of there. And go back to class. I think you can stop a kid from going to the bathroom unless they're like a safety risk for the school. Maybe. Yelled at, uh, depends on what it is, I guess. I don't know. That's fine. If you do something stupid, you get berated for it. Why get berated, though, is the question. Okay, so that was that video. <laughs> Let's find another one. What's this one? How many people have died in these movies or TV shows? No. We could do this one quick. Uh, we I think of Mario Kart. The Wii is definitely Wii Sports. Oh, Wii Sports definitely. I love Wii Sports. Many memories with that game. Full time. PS Two, uh, the old Spider Man games. PS Two is GTA. Only GTA is game. crazy. Next one actually. Xbox Three Sixty. I'm randomly thinking of the Batman Arkham games. Arkham Asylum. What's better, PlayStation or Xbox? Friends house. The console war. DS. Uh, I'm rarely thinking of Mario Kart again. I don't know why. Or maybe like a Mario game. Like any Mario game you can play on the DS. That for sure. My favorite DS game is the Lego Batman video game on DS. I got it for Christmas years ago. It is a fun game. Even if it's on the DS. You can actually go into Wayne Manor in that game. I know there's like a secret level in the console version but like it feels like you're actually in Wayne Manor in the DS version I think we all have Spider-Man definitely Spider-Man that I really want to play that game Spider -Man? the new one looks amazing though PC, PC? I don't know God. Warcraft really anything. I guess 
Minecraft for this. I love Minecraft. Nintendo Switch, uh, I don't know. Nintendo Switch, definitely Odyssey. Or definitely Mario Odyssey. I agree with that, Sambuca. I love, I've always wanted to play Mario Odyssey. That game looks amazing. Like, the open worldness, you can throw Mario's hat. Like, seriously, it's awesome. It's time to jump. Let's see. Xbox One. Uh, I'm thinking of Star Wars Battlefront. Xbox One. GTA Five for sure. Game Boy. Uh, I don't know. Something Mario. I, I Every time I think of Nintendo, I just think of Mario. Game Boy? Oh. Pokemon. What okay, so that's a bad video. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Look, it's Caillou. What show do you think of when you see these things? Disney Channel. I'm randomly thinking of Stuck in the Middle. I was watching that show because of Jenna Ortega. But I'm randomly thinking of that show. Disney Channel. I honestly gotta be honest. I never really watched Disney Channel. I was more of a Nickelodeon guy. Tana. Great show. Netflix. Uh, Wednesday. Another Jenna Netflix Ortega show. Goes to Stranger Things. Nickelodeon. Uh, SpongeBob. It's still on air. It's crazy. PBS. I'm thinking of Caillou. Like, just like on that thumbnail. PBS. Oh, no. I hate to say it, but Caillou. The worst character in history. I think we can all agree with that. Caillou's whiny. He's, uh, he's a boy, indeed. He's the representation of uh, how little kids are, I guess. I don't know. Cartoon Network. A uh, regular show. That was my favorite show growing up. It was a fun show. Hulu. Uh, I don't really watch Hulu, so I'll wait see what he thinks. Hulu, like an original. Maybe Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I think that's on there. ESPN. I'm not a sports guy. <laughs> I'm thinking of Stephen A. Smith and Shannon Sharp show. I think that's on ESPN. Fox Gotham, or like Family Guy. Oh, Fox News, no. Just don't get me started with Fox News. Comedy Central, uh, Beavis and Butthead. I know they started airing the new episodes on there, but uh, that's cool. It's still around. Or The Office. I guess the roast that they used to do, those were fun. Amazon, The Boys. You gotta love The Boys. Amazon Prime. Oh, definitely The Boys. Great show. Which- the Boys is amazing. You all need to check out The Boys. Well, let's see what other videos there are. Uh, this might be our last one. I don't know. Would you live in these fictional houses? Oh, this should be fun. SpongeBob's house. Uh, sure, I'd live in SpongeBob's house, but I don't know. Wouldn't the pineapple get rotten if it was like real life? I don't know. SpongeBob's house seems really fun. If you play the SpongeBob Battle of Bikini Bottom, you can actually go in this house and explore it. Like it, it, that game's so fun. Yeah, he does. Good neighborhood. Griffin House. Uh, looks like a nice house. As long as if I don't have to live with the family, I'm good. Island? No, I'm kidding. It's a nice house. Very standard. Can't go wrong with the layout. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. No, I don't want to live in a preschool house. I mean, if Donald Duck's there, maybe I can make an exception. But, like, I would, I would probably just go there to hang out, maybe. But, like, not live there. I don't know, it just feels like it's too weird to hang out in what could be the dangers of the clubhouse itself. I mean, I'm sure it's fun, but I think it'd be a little strange if they saw, like, a grown man just, like, living there recording videos. Yeah, true, uh, yeah, I probably wouldn't live there because it'd just be weird since I'm not a preschooler. They'd probably be confused of why some, some, some guy who just got graduated high school is just hanging out in a preschool show. I grew up Mickey, with Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I remember that show. The cops called on me. Sandy's Tree Dome. I mean, if I could breathe in air, yeah, I would live in it. This would be pretty fun. Well, it's a pain but, like, I'd probably be worried if, like, the glass will break and then, and then like, water. I'd probably have the anxiety. To have visitors. Couldn't even get DoorDash to you. Simpsons House. Sure, if, as long as if I don't have to live with them. <laughs>
Yeah, I probably would live in the Walter White house. But, like, it's just like any other house. Bag end, eh, too small. Too boring. Fun exterior. I don't know what this is even from. I think Lord of the Rings, maybe. Patrick's house, no. I feel like I've just been getting squashed by a rock. And there's only sand. So, no. Patrick's house? It looks comfy. You might be worried about flooding since it's under sea level, though. Would you live in these fictional houses? So, I think that's that video. I think we'll call it. So, uh, tell me. Well, well, what do you think? You think I should react to more Sambuca videos? Maybe I'll try to find something else. I do have another idea for a commentary. I think it'll be like a Paul Rudd video. I like to show more of my Paul Rudd love. So uh, that being said, thanks for watching and see you guys next time.